Thank you for joining us for Midweek Prayer. I'm Andrea, one of the pastors here, and it is good to be together. It's my hope that this is a place where we can connect with God and with each other as we join our hearts in prayer. During our prayer time, you'll notice that I will pray specifically for joys and concerns. These are ones that have been shared with the church over the past week. If you have additional joys or concerns that you would like us to pray specifically for, then we invite you to submit those by either replying to this post on Facebook or by emailing one of the addresses on your screen or by contacting the church office. And then we will pray for those next Wednesday during midweek prayer. Today I invite you just to take a moment of silence to breathe and to center yourself. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in us the fire of thy love. Amen. Now I invite you to hear these words from Psalm 135, verses 1 through 21. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, O servants of the Lord, you that stand in the house of the Lord and in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing to his name, for he is gracious. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel as his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, our Lord is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does, in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all deeps. It, it, he it is who makes the clouds rise at the end of the earth. He makes lightnings for the rain and brings out the wind from the, the storehouses. He it was who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, both human beings and animals. He sent signs and wonders into your midst, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. He struck down many nations and killed mighty kings. Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land as a heritage, a heritage to his people Israel, your name, O Lord, endures forever. Your renown, O Lord, throughout all the ages. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. They have eyes but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. And there is no breath in their mouths. Those who make them and all who trust them shall become like them. O house of Israel, bless the Lord. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. O house of Levi, Bless the Lord. You that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, he who resides in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. May God add his blessing to the reading and the hearing of the word. Friends, now it's our privilege to be able to pray together. I'll begin by praying a prayer for our nation that was written by Anne Thomas, and then we'll go into praying for our, our joys and concerns. Let us pray. Holy God, you are worthy of all adoration. We have celebrated the resurrection of your true son. We have shouted, Hosanna and Hallelujah. And Maranatha. But in the silence that follows celebration, we bow humbly before you. 
Great healer, we ask for your healing love on our nation. We are so divided. We ask for your strong protection for our leaders, our capital, and those who work there. They remain in danger from the sinful nature of humankind. We ask for your greatest wisdom for all who represent us, that they may be guided by your great and powerful love for all human beings and put away political expediency. Holy Spirit, we ask for your presence and your love to permeate the hearts of all who would do our government's business. We ask for the softening of hearts that have been hardened by hatred and racism. We ask that you break our hearts of stone. Holy three in one, hear us, we humbly pray and grant our petitions for the glory of the kingdom of God. Today we're joining together and interceding and praying specifically for all who have COVID and are recovering. We pray for all the families of people who were diagnosed with COVID and did not survive. Lord, we pray for a young Nicaraguan man who attends Nueva Vida Church. Lord, he's having heart issues and he had surgery for blocked arteries. Lord, we just pray for a good outcome, for recovery and healing and health. Lord, we pray for Bill Connolly, who's undergoing cancer treatments. Lord, we pray for protection and healing and comfort. And Lord, we pray for Cindy Noward's father, Doyle, who remains in hospice care. Lord, comfort them. Almighty God, your constant love surrounds us even when we do not clearly sense it. We are confident in your complete provision for our needs, even when it's not yet obvious to us. And so, Father, we pray for the many hurts that we have, some known only by you. Lord, for those in marriage near divorce, for those of us whose loved ones are very sick, for those who are awaiting test results, for those whose emotions have been deeply wounded by those that we dearly love, and those of us needing money and seeking employment to where we believe that you have called us. For those of us who need to express our deep personal emotions, Lord, let us all be near you now. Touch our lives today with your strong and powerful hand, and may our lips and our lives glorify you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that you will join us again for worship on Sunday, digital worships at 9.30 or in person at 8.30 or 10.30. Have a great week.